Hey YouTube, welcome back to Garage Shop Science. So are you guys ready for the solar eclipse? Do you have your glasses? If you don't have your glasses yet, stick around. I'll tell you some key things to look for whenever you're buying your glasses. So today, real quick, I wanted to discuss the, the current big trending topic. The eclipse that is occurring on August 21st. Hopefully, whether you look close to it or not, hopefully you're able to get out and at least see a partial eclipse. I really, really quick wanted to discuss the proper safety precautions you should take. I got a couple things sitting in front of me. One of them is a pack of solar glasses. And these are everywhere right now. And if you haven't gotten a set yet, I recommend to start looking immediately and try to find a set because they are becoming increasing, increasingly harder to find. I live in the St. Louis area and I went to the St. Louis Science Center. Many science museums, uh, astronomy museums, uh, libraries, uh, many public facilities right now are giving away solar glasses. I went to the St. Louis Science Center today, and they were actually out. They had ordered just ordered 6,000 more, um, but they were currently out. The reason I wanted to discuss these is I ordered a 10-pack uh, on Amazon for $10. And as it turns out, when I got them in, they are a non-ISO listed pair. Any pair of glasses that are actually third-party tested and approved uh, should have some type of notification of all of the standards they have been tested to. Um, as you'll see on my glasses, they do not. In fact, they have a really crappy disclaimer that says, The seller of these glasses shall not be liable for any damages arising from the use, non-use, or misuse of Eclipse glasses. Basically saying, this may screw up your eyes. Uh, best of luck to you. Now, you'll notice that they say ISO on the back. However, it is not the official ISO logo, and they also do not have any ISO requirements. Uh, when I went to the Science Center, they did have a pair there that I was able to take a quick look at, and I snapped a photo of its ISO label. I did take these out for a short period of time, and I put them on, I looked up at the sun, and they dimmed the sun. Cool, they dimmed the visible light. But the sun puts out more than just visible light. And this is what you should be concerned about. And this is why you should make sure to get glasses that have been appropriately tested. Uh, the sun also puts out non-visible UV light, uh, radiation, and um, all kinds of harmful wavelengths that are just too intense for your eyes to, to handle. N not only that, your eyes also don't have pain receptors in them. Meaning you could be looking at the sun with a pair of glasses on, everything looks perfect, everything looks all hunky-dory, and you aren't feeling any pain or anything, but you're burning your retinas. NASA has a, a site out right now that is a very good site and has lots of information. I'll post a link to it in the description of the video. Uh, the site lists five or six different manufacturers that are all authorized manufacturers. Some other opportunities that seeing a to total solar eclipse bring up. One of those such opportunities is being able to take photos of them. In order to take the photos, because it is an extremely bright event, you have to have a special filter, which is what this is. Um, this is not an ISO-approved filter, so this filter here would not be used good for me to just hold up and look through with my eyes. This is actually a specific filter that was designed specifically for cameras. This particular film was... Uh, manufactured by Thousand Oaks Optical. How do I plan on taking photos? <laughs> I'm going to use my 3D printer and print a mount for not necessarily this lens, but one of my larger lenses. Um, this one is a 70 to 300 millimeter lens. I also have a relatively cheap 500 millimeter lens. And I'm going to 3D print something that will hold this filter right in front of the lens. Get out enjoy the day, uh, go enjoy the solar eclipse, and make sure and protect your eyes, make sure and protect yourself, be safe about it.